Hello everyone, my name is Otávio Santana and today let's talk about encapsulation. In the previous video, I said that a key of a good design is an encapsulation, okay? But how can I do a good design or a good encapsulation? Is Getter and Setter enough to do it? The answer is no. Sometimes when you put Getter and Setters, you are doing your code even worse. And today I will explain you why and how to do a good encapsulation. Okay, to talk about encapsulation, let's put more context. Let's give you the sample of a team and a player where I will have a team that has a collection of players. Okay, let's start first with players, where I will create a player. Right now, to make it easy to understand, I will have only the, oops, I will have only the, the name of the player. Okay, and I have my team. Where my team has player. And then what I are we gonna do? I will create cat and setter. The question as usual is okay, is that enough? Can I do something else? Uh as you already know, the answer is no, it's not enough. You are making it even worse. You destroy your encapsulation with that. So let me show why. First, let's create the, should create, should add player in a team. Okay, so I will create a team, team, this team, and then I will add one person. I have several ways you do it. So let's start. Okay, the instance here, let's use our array list. And basically what I'm doing is add a new play here. Oops. Oh, I don't have constructor, that's why. Let's create and make it immutable. So, so right now it has a name, I don't know. Uh, Bruno, I know we should not talk about Bruno, but anyway, right now it will return a player. So, by definition, it should not be empty. Team get players is empty. Let's run the code. What I'm doing right now, I basically uh, allow to people outside the team to handle the list of players. Therefore, I can make this, this team with 
inconsistency inside my code. For example, I can do something like this and it will not pass. Okay, let's see, it will return a loop pointer exception. Or when I'm doing get players, I can do a clean. And again, it won't pass. So basically, I'm using an dynamic model uh, and that is now cool, okay? So basically, I did a get player and somebody clear the team and uh, somebody that should not do it did it and it's not okay. I lost encapsulation. Indeed, there's no difference between I get an setter right now and if I put these fields as a public one. So it is exactly something. So players, I can set as new. There's are something that I can do in here. I can clean that exact something that I can do in here. So right now, basically, there is no difference between uh, a getter setter and a public field. Therefore, I don't have encapsulation in my model on my API. And that's why it's wrong. You need to make sure that our code safe. A good safe is a good design code. And encapsulation helps us a lot with that. Remember, when we talk about objects, we need to hide the data to expose the behavior. Uh, that's a reference from clean code. And we need to do exact something here. So uh, to avoid that, let's do an encapsulation. So first, private. I won't have the setter because the idea here is to only allow people or only allow team to modify the players. So to add a new player, I will create a public void add where I will add a new player. I will validate the um, input or the parameter object. Required not new. I need sure that my player is, is required here. And based on that, yes, I able to add a new player. And that is, that is okay, right? Right now I have the right validation. However, people still able to modify the get player. What can I do? I can do the collections and return the unmod unmodifiable list. So let's do it. Right now, okay, let's return to our test. Right now, I have a good encapsulation. So I'm not able to do set new here or here. I'm not to do the clear. And when I try to do the get clear here, it will return a, an exception, okay? Because I'm not able to modify this operation is not supported anymore. What I can do here, I can put a test, assert true, uh, supported operation exception here, exception here, where I will test because, oops, not you. I expect this behavior here. And let's remove and then execute again. But this time, 
using the proper method. So I will add a player, try to modify if without authorization, and then check if the information is there. What did I do? I put more encapsulation inside my code. And remember, everything that I said in the previous video about optional, if the value may, might be not there or not there, we're not sure, we are able to return any value from, from player as optional. However, when we talk about collections, we have the option to return an empty list. So collection, empty list. Thank you, Effective Java, to give us this tip. So if you want to put this foundation here, that's not necessary because I started my player with new array lists, but if you don't want to start, you want to do a lazy start, what you can do is, okay, if players is new, you are able to return the empty list. If not, returns, it will return the unmodifiable list. Okay, but when you talk about collection, set, and terrible, please use an empty list or empty set, empty whatever. But as a recommendation, you should not use optional of any collection. Okay, explore this option from Effective Java. I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you soon 